But let me get into it, guys. Um, you know, again, I miss y'all, and um, you know, I just y'all know how I do. Monday nights, I like to start the week off with some positivity, with some inspiration, with something that we can really take with us on our journey. And y'all know I like to draw from my own life experiences that happen in my own life. So I kind of start there because yesterday I was in church. And if you ever been to a black church, like when church is over, it's like the whole congregation, it's like a meet and greet. Everybody, <laughs> nobody leaves. Everybody's standing around and you talk and then you go downstairs and you eat. And it's, it's really like, you know, that family that pray together, stay together for real. So I'm in the church yesterday after the service and we stand around talking and one of the brothers, you know, we just talking about health and we talking about, you know, taking care of our body and taking care of ourselves as we get older. And this brother started to talk to me and he was telling me how like, yo, I, I, I never go to the doctor. I haven't been to the doctor in like seven years. And I'm looking at him like seven, you're like, huh? Like that's a long time not to go to the doctor. And you know, I'm trying to figure out, well, where's this conversation really going? Because he's like, yo, I ain't been to the doctor in seven years. I feel healthy. I don't have no aches. I don't have no pains. And he was like, I'll go one better for you. I haven't been to the dentist in 20 years. Now, I know this brother's married with children. So when he said that, I'm like, well, he ain't even joking, but you telling me you kiss your mouth, your wife with that mouth, you you, you kissing your kids? Like, I don't understand what are we doing here? And he's like, yo, I never had a cavity. I'm healthy. And as I'm sitting there and I'm listening to him, I didn't say a word because I'm trying to put the pieces together and make sense out of what it was that he was trying to tell me. But more important, I'm thinking to myself like, yo, I understand you're healthy and I understand you're feeling good. But why wait for something to go wrong before you do something about it? While you're good, while you saying, yo, I walk around, I got no aches, I got no pains. Why not now go in? And do your due diligence. Go for them annual physicals. Go and make sure you're good. Go and make sure that your mouth is straight. And too often we sit around and we wait for the bottom to drop out of our world before we go and we act on it and we do something about it. And my mind goes to Miami Beach and we all as a country, we're mourning. Right? Like we are mourning with that surfside condo collapse. And I feel so bad every time I look at the news because last I checked, it was like 94 people confirmed dead. Still another 20 or 30 that's unaccounted for. And my heart hurts just like I'm sure y'all's heart hurt those people wasn't doing nothing they was home it was just a day like any other day and their whole world came crashing down but truth of the matter is many of them they lost their possessions things they can never get back family heirlooms pictures things that had sentimental value to them they lost their investment. Cost a lot of money to live on that beach. But they lost things that they can never get back like their life. They lost loved ones. People who they bore into the world. They grew up with. They love. Can never get it back. But truth of the matter is. It was preventable. It wasn't like it wasn't no warning signs and too often in life, y'all, ain't nothing that happened to us a surprise. It is nothing too often, like it's very rare that something happens to you or me 
And I'm like, damn, I didn't see that coming. That was a shock. The warning signs was there all along before that building collapsed. Now, maybe the residents didn't know, but management knew. The owners knew. People were coming in, doing their annual inspections, and they're telling them, this ain't safe. The foundation is no good. Y'all need to invest because this structure is not going to stand but for so much longer. But because they chose to ignore the warning signs, they chose to put it off. The worst thing that could happen, happened. And what I'm telling y'all is, in this life, there's a lesson in everything, even in tragedy. You can pull something out of the worst case scenario and you can look at it and say, bingo, that's the lesson that I was supposed to get out of it. And I'm telling y'all, some of y'all are walking around and that check engine light is on. That thing is flashing. That thing is going off and you refuse to take care of it. It's right there in front of you. It ain't that many surprises it ain't that much stuff that happens to us that we don't know is coming look at your life look at that what happened down there because all things considered that destination if you want to look at it as a metaphor for life miami beach goals Ocean view, goals, beachside, goals, Collins Avenue, on the strip, all of that is goals. And some of y'all are so focused on your goals that you are missing the most important part, the part that nobody wants to take time with, is making sure that your foundation is strong. Making sure that when those strong hurricane winds come, whatever it is in your life that you're trying to build, it is going to stand sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. When the rains and the winds hit, whatever it is that you're creating in your life, it will not come crashing down to the ground. And I look at so many people, and people are trying to cut the line, and they're rushing. They're rushing to get to the top. They're rushing to, 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 to take care of these goals and put it up on Instagram and put it up on social media. So many people are rushing to get down that aisle. They're focused on the big day, the wedding dress, the big party, the big ring. And they never are taking time to get to learn and know that person who they're about to marry. And then wonder a few years later, why we in divorce court. I see it all the time with people who have never, never worked in the industry, but they, because they see other people making money in these industries, they want to start a business and they feel that they're going to be the one that is going to come out and dominate in an industry that they never even worked in. And after they pour their life savings into it, after they go out there and everything that they have to their name, they put it into that business and a business collapse and they wonder why. This ain't rocket science. You didn't take care of the most important thing, which was the foundation. Learn before you get into something. Learn before you decide I'm going to put everything I have, everything I own into it. I can't tell you how many people I meet who are following these trends and they're calling themselves healthy. Do you know how many fat vegans is out there? I can't take another person telling me that they're vegan and weigh more than me. I can't take another person telling me I don't eat fish. I don't eat dairy. I don't eat eggs. I don't eat this. I don't eat that. Well, why the hell are you so fat? Because you didn't go and do what you were supposed to do on the front end. 
and make sure you research and get your foundation right. And now you're out there and you're eating all of this processed food. And if you're going to put the weight on, if you're going to put yourself in a position where you're blowing up and you're less healthy than you was before you started that diet, why not do it with a steak in front of you? Why not do it and do it the right way with some fried chicken or something? If I'm going to be that disciplined and cut all the things that I love out of my diet and still put on weight, I might as well go and just eat up with everything that ain't good for me. But people are rushing into stuff. And I'm telling y'all, go back and check your foundation. You got to check your foundation movers. Even if you started off the right way, it's a reason why every single year they require us to take our cars in and get that annual maintenance, get that state inspections because codes change, the industry changes, things change, but stop putting it off. You can't think that you're going to make it to the top overnight. And once you get there, your foundation is going to be strong enough to hold you up because it doesn't work like that. I ain't met a person yet that got rock hard abs in six minutes. I just ain't met them. I know we live in a microwave society and people love their food right now. But it's something special about seeing somebody in that kitchen taking their time. Cooking your food with love and having that home cooked meal is something special about waiting. Waiting right now on HGTV, hit show, 100 Day Dream House. I don't want a house that came up from the ground in 100 days. That don't feel safe to me. That don't feel like that foundation is right. And I'm telling you movers, look at what happened in Florida and let that be a cautionary tale to your life even if you started off right go back and check the temperature go back and look over everything that you've done and say am I up to code do I need to go in for my annual inspection because there are very few things in this life that just come out of nowhere but every now and then something just happens as we know Every now and then, you don't get that warning shot. It ain't that thing that I got my calendar invite and now I got a reminder coming up that my world is about to go crazy. The bottom is about to drop out of everything that I know. I think back to that brother in my church. And yes, he might be healthy. Yes, his mouth might be in good shape but while things are good while they're good take the time and go get that annual checkup movers i'm putting y'all on notice allow this to be that flashing light check engine allow this to be that reminder that your inspection date is due Matter of fact, it's overdue. I don't want y'all building these businesses. I don't want y'all building these lives. I don't want y'all building anything that's sacred to you. As soon as it gets up, as soon as you're ready to brag and talk about it, the whole world comes crashing down. And because you didn't do your due diligence up front and you didn't maintain it, now, Everything that you know, everything you worked hard for is up in smoke. Movers, y'all know I like to give it to y'all in a way that is dumbed down, in a way that we can all get it. I feel so bad every time I turn on the news and I see people who are buried alive. I see that rubble in one of the most aspirational and desirable places on planet Earth, which is Miami Beach. 
They didn't have a chance. But we do. Go back and check your foundation. Go back in and get that annual inspection and make sure you're up to code. 